and welcome to Math Talk. I'm your host, Brian Heisler. And today we're going to take a look at the second part to our series on solving word problems with algebra. If you haven't had a chance yet to check out the first video, go ahead and do so. But if you have, let's go ahead and look at part two. So we have an example that says, consider two companies that allow customers to design their own notebooks. One company charges $4 per notebook plus $9 shipping. The other company uses the equation C equals 3N plus 12 to find the total cost, which they call C, of designing N notebooks. Then they ask the question, what is the difference in the cost of each company if someone designs 25 notebooks? All right, so this is a comparison problem. And what we need to do is look at, look at comparing the cost between two different companies with two different equations. So let's look at each of those equations. One of them they give us, they say C equals 3N plus 12. The other one we need to figure out what it is by taking the information we're given and kind of creating the equation. So they say it's $4 per notebook. So that's can be represented by 4N. And then there's $9 shipping. So we have to add $9 shipping at the end is like a flat fee. So putting it together, we get the cost of that is 4n plus 9. And then they tell us, you know, they want us to find the difference of 25 notebooks. So what that means is we just need to plug in 25 for n, the number of notebooks, into each of the two equations and just find the difference between the two. So let's do that. We'll start with equation 1. Plug in 25 for n, we get 3 times 25 plus 12, which is 75 plus 12, which is $87. So one of the companies costs $87 for 25 notebooks. Let's look at the other. Four times 25 is 100 and add nine to that, you get 109. So now we just need to subtract the two and we get $22 as the difference. So there's our answer. Let's look at another example. So we have an example that says, two bowling alleys charge bowlers a price P for bowling on their lanes based on an equation. Alley one charges $3.25 per game plus $4 for shoes. Alley two charges $2.75 per game plus $6.25 for shoes. After how many full games of bowling is alley one more expensive than alley two? So this is a great question about comparing equations and expressions and it's different than the last example because we're not given two equations and then, ju then just asked to plug in a number we have to first find the equations and then compare the two equations to find the number that gets us you know the the, the amount of games that tell us where alley one is more than alley two so it's a little more involved so let's break it down into different steps the first thing we need to do is we need to find the equations for each of the alleys. So the first alley says they charge $3.25 per game, let's call that G, plus $4 for shoes. So we can write that as P, which is the price, equals 325G plus 4. And then alley 2 is $2.75 per game, we'll call it G, plus 625 for shoes. So we can write that as P equals 2.75 G plus 6.25. Now, these are two equations that we need to compare, but really we're looking at just the expressions themselves that we're comparing. Because um, we're not looking to find the actual price. We're looking to find which of the expressions is the kind of the breaking point where one becomes more than the other. So I'm gonna actually get rid of the P equals and just look at comparing the expressions. And we want alley one to be greater than alley two. So one of the ways you can solve this is you can realistically, you can take just random numbers for the number of games and plug them into each expression to figure out which, where alley one is more than alley two. I don't recommend that method because it's really, there's a lot of randomness to it. You may get lucky, you may not. So the other way of solving it is to just compare the expressions and solve for the variable that way. And that's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna compare the expressions, 3.25G plus four is greater than 2.75G plus 
And because we have variables on both sides, we want to um, move one to the other. And so I'm gonna take this 2.75 G and I'm gonna subtract it from both sides so that I get left over 0.5 G plus four is greater than 6.25. Now I have my variable all my it's, or, you know, on one side, I need to get my numbers on the other. So I'm gonna take this plus four and I'm gonna subtract it from both sides so I can get the variable on one side, the number on the other. Then it becomes a one step inequality. I'm gonna divide both sides by 0.5 and that's gonna leave me with G has to be greater than 4.5. So 4.5 is not actually the number of games I'm looking for because you can't bowl half a game. Um, we need how many full games. So I'm gonna take the next number up, that's the full number, which in this case is five games. So after five or more games, the cost for alley one is more expensive than the cost for alley two. Any number of games, one through four, it's gonna be cheaper to bowl at alley one. So I hope this helps when you get to equations and inequalities and problems that ask you to compare more than one equation or more than one inequality. Sometimes they may give you enough information where you can just plug in a value for a variable. Sometimes you may have to actually solve the inequality or equation for the variable and just plugging in random numbers isn't the best way to do it. Either way, I hope this helps. Be sure to check out the next part in this three-part series on solving word problems using algebra. And as always, thanks for watching. If you have any other questions or you need assistance and you live in the Palm Beach County area, visit our website at GEDS.com to find a location near you and sign up for classes.